Morning, everybody. Morning. Morning. Well, it's Foxton Locks Day. Are you excited as we are? Jan's got a water bottle ready. Oh, it, I'll need it. Because the sun's hot. out. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Look, she's got ruby red cheeks. <laughs> Hopefully, it's going to be a bit uh, cooler as we get up. I don't think so. Oh, gee. <laughs> We're going to be reaching for the skies, dear. <laughs> So I'm sure you know, and I'm sure I've said this a million times, uh, it's 10 locks at Foxton. There are two sets of five staircase locks, which means one leads into another one. Um, and yeah, so, and you can meet in the middle. Red before white and you'll be all right. Yeah. White before red and you'll be dead. Now, if you know, you know. If you're not sure what Jan's talking about and she's woken up <laughs> with a thick head, <laughs> You'll see when we get going, but of course, we're at the bottom of Foxton Locks waiting to go up. We have to take our turn because there'll be somebody coming down. There's already four boats. I mean, it's nine o'clock now and there's already four boats have gone up. And I think there's probably four waiting to come and down. There's probably four waiting to come down. So yeah, it's, um, it's gonna be quite busy, but obviously we're doing it one at a time. Uh, they don't let, obviously it's single locks, so you're not gonna go in with anybody else. You can meet halfway up. But I don't think I don't think anybody's coming down at well, the moment. No, no. I think what uh, the lucky I spoke to when I booked the boat in because you have, have to book your boat in, uh, and of course he made the uh, what is the name of your boat? The boat? Yeah. The boat? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, he said that they were going to let us lot go up first. Yeah. And the others would have to wait. Yeah. Don't oh what? Well, well, enjoy the locks. What about your phone? Yeah, that wasn't me going ding. No, it's, a, it's a bit <laughs> premature then with the dings. <laughs> <laughs> As I say. Enjoy the locks. What is it, Jan? Huh? Red before? White, you'll be all right. Red before red, you'll be dead. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, OK.
looks like I'm going to have to duck down at this one. The bridge over the lock is fairly low. And we're nearly halfway. I'm sure we've said this before a few times, and I think you know this, that Foxton is a series of 10 locks. It's actually two sets of five staircase locks with a short pound. And when I say short pound, I mean only enough room for two boats to kiss each other as one comes down and the other one goes up. Uh, now, fortunately for us, there is nobody coming down. Uh, there is somebody in front of us, but this next spot I'll show you is the area where you would normally cross over. You would normally meet somebody coming the other way, in other words. Very tight for space, but it is doable. And of course, one of the benefits when you get to the top is the view.
well that was Foxton Locks done. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> Loved it. Yes, lovely. And thank you all the lock keepers. Yes, thank you very much. All volunteers, by the way. Don't get paid. Full Just, of information as yeah, well, weren't they? Yeah, they tell you all about how the locks work if you want to ask them. They do regular tours and talks. Um, and they're free, so you just have to meet at the top station. Various times, isn't it? Yeah. The museum's open three or four days a week, I think. So just check on the website or I the know Facebook. one day's Wednesday. And yeah. it's four pound, um, they say it's a donation, but it's a fixed fee four of four pound, pound for yeah. adults. But it tells you all about the history as well, and there's a working model. Well, there was, I've been there for years, but there used to be a working model of how, how the actual locks work. We didn't actually go in. No. We were too busy having coffee and no. ice cream. And look, we can't get rid of them. Move your head, Tony. Oh, hold well on. Yep. We've got bears behind. Have we got Pardon? a bear behind? <laughs> I've got a bear behind. <laughs> I've got two bears behind. <laughs> hold, hold. So, we're going through Husband's Bosworth Tunnel. Uh, so make sure you've got your lights if you're coming with us. Yep. And then we're going to be mooring up down the Welford Arm. So we're going to veer off of the Grand Union Leicester section and nip down the Welford Arm. It's not very long. There is actually one lock there that you go through, which takes you to the top. Everybody says, oh, this is the summit section of the Grand Union Canal, Leicester summit section, meaning this is the highest part because there's now, what is it, 10 miles of no locks at all until you get to Watford Locks. But actually, it isn't technically the highest point on this part of the canal. The highest point is just as you get into Welford because there's a little lock there that takes you up another couple of feet. Um, so you're actually high, even higher. We'll come to that later. In Sorry, the meantime, I've got hay fever. In the meantime, enjoy this little cruise. Yeah. This is a very pretty section of canal, very rural. In fact, there's no villages here between Foxton and Husband's Bosworth. And even that sits on top of the tunnel. It's not easy to get to. feel very cocooned with all the trees that hang above, like you're in your own world. I don't know if you can see that house there, that's called Lawton Hills. It was built for a man called William Taylor. And I know what you're thinking, Tony, I've never heard of a man called William Taylor. And to be honest, neither have I. 
but apparently William Taylor is the man who invented the dimpled golf ball. Ah! Now there you go. If you watch these vlogs and you never learn anything except one thing, that's the one thing you've learnt today. <laughs> I thank you. Morning. Morning. Is it busy at the locks? Uh, no, well it wasn't. This is uh, North Kilworth Wharf. Always a busy little place. I'm going to um, do a little quiz for you. In the comments section down below, please write down the name of the two boaters or the two boaters YouTube channel that were based here last year in 2021. One was a young man, that I think Jan has the hots for. Disgusting. And another was a young lady who was doing up her boat. Now I'll give you a clue, her boat was called Leviathan. And of course we were in the marina opposite, North Kilworth Marina, which is opposite here. So when we come walking down here to walk to the village of Husbands Bosworth, We'd come past here and see the boats being worked on. And of course both of those boats are now on the network. Well actually one of them's been sold because the person who used to own it and did it all up has sold it and has bought a bigger boat. So there's another clue for you. Tony's quiz of the week. <laughs> Okay, so this is the junction. If you were going to carry on down the Grand Union towards Yelvertoft and Crick, you go down there on the right. But we're going up here to the Welford Arm on the left. <laughs> started a new arm or finger really <laughs> and this is bridge number one you know I don't think as a kid 
I really appreciated what Leicestershire had to offer. Yes, we played in the river, by the canal, in the streams. But I don't think we fully appreciated how beautiful it was, or is, I should say. It's not until you turn into an adult, is it? Until you grow up. I think it was living in a council estate that did it. We didn't go out a few times, weekends. In fact, I remember when I was eight years old, going down to Foxton Locks, and that was a special treat on a Sunday. And this is the one and only lock on this section. Lovely location though, isn't it? Well, that's it. We've made it to the end of the Welford Arm. Yep. Or Welford Finger, as I call it, because it's not really an arm, because an arm's quite long in it, and the finger's very short, and it's very short. What are you going on about? I don't know, but we've made it to the end. It's great here. I love it. Yep. I th I'm going to say it's it's one of my favourites. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, more. lovely moorings, and there's a marina here, but it's private. Um, facilities here behind me, somewhere here. Yeah. Um, Toilets, Elsan. I don't know whether there's showers. There's not showers. Toilets, certainly. There's two toilets for ladies. Yeah. That's a shock. Uh, but more importantly, just behind the camera is the pub. The Wharf <laughs> Inn. The Wharf Inn, yes. Uh, lovely place. We shall go there later for something to eat, no doubt. Uh, we're going to say goodbye to the bears today because they're going to go off and do their thing and I think they've got to get back to their moorings, uh, Brinklow. They've got lots to do in July, I think, yeah. June, July. Whereas we're going to go off to Crick, as you know. Yeah. In fact, I'm not sure whether when this vlog goes out, we may have already been to Crick. If we have and we've seen you, thank oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally lost. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this particular vlog. If you have, don't forget the usual. Thumbs up for a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because it's free to subscribe. Then when you've subscribed, press that bell icon. Ding! No, I think you can go louder. Ding! Oh, God. <laughs> okay, maybe not that loud. <laughs> and YouTube will do the usual and let you know when we upload a vlog. In the meantime, stay safe, happy cruising, happy yappy dog. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>